Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is a video talking about the failure rate of CPUs. Um, on the PC market, of course, their two major players are AMD with their Ryzen chips and Intel with their own uh, chips, of course, of the different generations. Uh, my case here on my laptop, I have a AMD. This is a gaming laptop. I was it was chosen uh, to be um, with AMD for its performance and uh, you know scored high in what is um, the uh, performance. So uh, mine is a re AMD Ryzen 7 4800H. So over years as a tech guy. There was always that talk about failure of AMD versus um, Intel. And as a tech guy, I was in the generation where there was a lot of AMD machines that were sold. In general, they were always less expensive than Intel. So they were quite popular. But as a tech guy, I could notice that the failure rate and the overeat rate of AMD back then was much higher than Intel. To a point where I would always tell people buy Intel because the AMD aren't as reliable. It doesn't mean that people didn't have PCs that were you know, running for years and years, but I could see that when a problem was hardware, it was more frequent on the AMD side. Now with the arrival of the Ryzen uh, processors, this seemed to be less of a problem. It seems to be pretty much equal. Now, a little study by uh, Pudget Systems is actually saying that uh, AMD processors seem to have a higher failure rate than Intel processors. One exception to the rule that big 5% dent here in the Intel Core 11 uh, processor for home user that seems to have a much higher failure rate than others but overall when you take the numbers uh, it does seem that uh, through the different series of AMD chips the failure rate is always a little higher than Intel so this is kind of interesting um, these uh, of course the data here is comes from their own internal data from 2019 until 2021 so it seemed that the rule of Intel being a more stable and uh, have less failure uh, over time is still a uh, is still true. So kind of interesting. Uh, you could see here this is their graph that they're giving. Um, the only exception, and they do find it weird. The only exception is that Intel Core 11, which is kind of weird. So um, this is kind of interesting um, to see. Now, if you're wondering what the difference between shop failure rate and field failure rates, shop failure rates is when it was actually being used in the system. The field failure rates is when it was actually already dead on arrival, basically, or uh, had some problem um, while it was sent. So, uh, basically, kind of interesting to see that AMD is still kind of less reliable over time. Uh, kind of tells us that, well, if you have to buy a system, maybe an Intel is a better choice. And over the fact of the CPU, not just, you know, looking at AMD CPUs, overall, I've also noticed that even um, motherboards that had Intel chips on them tend to be more reliable also than the motherboards with AMD chips. So an interesting uh, little uh, test here from them. And um, even though there's not necessarily that much of a difference on some CPUs, it is enough that, uh, well, maybe you should buy an Intel processor machine rather than an AMD. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.